Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, you seen the no purse? I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in the bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. It's the Mumfu Podcast, dog. We out here, whole lot of gang ish, you know what I mean? Profit, Pro Degan, make a paper till the sun go down. Cross eyed, screw face, Jean over here. You dig Listen, me? Do you dig me? Shrink if y'all only knew how delicious this smelled. I might just do the whole episode via Inside My Hood. Yo, listen, strictly for the fans, that jumps out now. Make sure you go streaming that ish on Spotify, iTunes, any, you know, major streaming platform. You dig me? Yo. Word up. Then, make sure that you go follow or subscribe to the Screw Live page, which is down below in the link. I, I ain't putting it there, but I'm sure he will. You know what I mean? Make sure you do that because live streams is now moved over there for the next three months. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then we got, you know, the monthly live after the joint. You know what I mean? So go subscribe to that. You dig me, you know? Grr. Then, got the Dax feature coming soon. You feel me? Because you know, so. in this fire, you know what I mean? Script work coming soon. Song with script dropping, you know, sometime fire. Script work, but I feel you. What did you say? You said script work. The reaction channel. Oh, <laughs> script. All right, yo. <laughs> shout out yo, to shout out to script work, yo. Y'all my niggas. Word <laughs> up, dog. Y'all fucking hilarious, bro. Word <laughs> up. Yo. Then, the yo, street. Shout out, definitely shout out to script work. Those niggas got that, uh, the, uh, what can I think of homie name now? The Shaq. They got that motherfucker chef out there reacting to shit. Oh, word. Yeah, I did see that. That's crazy. The trends out there. Yo, then, the Strictly for the Fans merch, link will be in the description, cop that, fire, get that blue colorway, fire, all I'm saying, off top, yo, then, I got the do-rag line, then we got the monthly merch coming soon, you know what I mean, we out here. Lucky you screwed up also. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, make sure you're streaming that. I think you hit 10 racks now, right? I'm almost to 12 now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. It was 10 last night. That went crazy. So, yo, man, we about to get into it. You about to break them off with the other intro? That's all I'm finna say. Nigga, fuck is they talking about, nigga? That's all you gotta say, man. That's all you gotta say, man. Yo, right, so listen. Today, on the Mind Fool Podcast, what we're gonna be talking about is... Now... Word on the street is West Side Boogie, Mr. Oh my goodness, Mr. Deja Vu, Mr. M's official art. It's like M's got art, but this is literally, which also, I will talk about that, which also gets me aggy. But this is like 50 Cent wasn't this much of Eminem's artist, technically. Like 50 Cent literally wasn't this yeah. much of Eminem's artist. He was his own label still under. Yeah, I'm like, not only that, but like, uh, was he shining Shady or, or Aftermath? A aftermath. Interscope. Yeah, so he wasn't even... Listen, inter wait, wait, okay, so it goes... It goes Aftermath, which is Dr. Dre. <coughs> Shady, which is an umbrella under Aftermath. Interscope is on top of... So it's not even Dre or M's label. So he's literally signed to Shady. His album's supposed to be dropping, what is it, January 25th or 26th? That's what the word is. So we're going to talk about who, uh, well, first we're going to talk about how we feel about Boogie, his career so far. I know that's not a lot to talk about. It is, though. It is, if you know Boogie. Yeah. Um, how he's being treated, um, what we expect from his album, what what we don't want to hear, uh, what we think they should do possibly before the album. And then we're also going to talk about who are the best co-signs M has ever had. So like the 50s. The Cassius's, the Obi Trices, the D12s, the Boogies. Who was the best one? And best means, I mean, obviously it was 50 Cent. Obviously it was 50 Cent. But besides 50 Cent, we're going to talk about why it was 50 Cent too and different stuff. So we'll get it. You know what we could have talked about? 
that I'm actually a little bit more passionate about. I'm not going to lie to you. We, we, we might do a whole different one about this. Funk, Flex, and Dame Dash. Definitely. I definitely have been wanting to talk about that, but you've just been busy, yeah. so. We could have definitely talked about that. Yo, I be, I de- yo, we could talk about that for hours. That, that, yeah. So, yo, let's get into the Boogie thing, though. So, as somebody, like, I know a lot about Boogie. Well, I wouldn't say I'm, like, the biggest, like, a Boogie stan. I'm a, I consider myself a Boogie fan. Yeah. Um, But I ain't gonna act like I didn't even hear from him from, oh, my goodness. I've been listening to him since before Shady. So, <coughs> you know, that's how it rock. So, you, as somebody who may not be as, you know, aware of, where Boogie is, where Boogie should be, what he should be doing. What do you think about how Boogie, let's call it a rollout. Let's say all of this up to this has been the rollout. What do you think about Boogie's rollout as a shady artist? (coughs) Yo, like, it's kind of weird, man, because I think, I think he has a couple big songs. Um, You think he has a couple? Yeah, he do. Like what? Oh my is definitely a really big song, but that's old though. That's prior to Shady though. So, but I mean that Deja Vu record though, like I've I've like actually heard that in like quite a different place. You know what I mean? Like quite a different platform. I have not. Here's the crazy thing: is I'm a huge Boogie fan, and I'd be looking, and I have not. I have not. I don't know. <laughs> this is the thing. Okay, so Boogie doesn't get a ton of looks, like. For somebody to be Eminem's artist, I would just personally think that maybe he would be a little bit more involved, like whether it was literally a verse on Kamikaze or something of the sort. I don't listen. I don't get it. I don't Somebody's either. Somebody's gonna have to explain to me. It's the same like J Cole thing with Jay Z. Someone's gonna have to explain to me why people and and J Cole did fine for himself without that book. Why do people sign? Why do artists sign people and don't work with that person? Now I'm not saying M says, but Jay's excuse is basically like, "Oh, I don't want you to. Ju- I need to get. I want you to get on your own." Then why did you sign him? Like that is why not just co-sign him and then just like if, or do if, a song. If I sign somebody, he is going to win. I will hope what I'm doing because I know I can make myself win easy. I know my formula. But that nigga, we're not moving to you. Well, win. maybe to his defense, we, I mean, me and you, excuse me, personally have talked about this as well. Maybe Boogie isn't doing all the work he should be to be where he should be. Maybe it's part of what him. Does that mean? Huh? But what does that mean? Does that mean? <laughs> maybe he's not That's recording. Not maybe he's not doing like recording. Maybe he's not, you know, like literally putting forth effort in his career. Like, I mean, you know exactly what that means. You've worked with a lot of artists who, who don't, pull their weight to to be where they should be behind the person that's very big because here's the thing but it's a difference between when i work with an artist and my back end comes months from that moment my back end comes i don't really put i do put money in it but like they're putting millions and stuff like that yeah but niggas throw away millions for less all the time you know what i mean but that would is okay that would is a potential to make way more M is a money machine. Yeah, M&M but my nigga, money. think about niggas in the in the league, bro. There be niggas that throw away their entire. They'll throw away a hundred and million dollar, hundred and eighty million dollar signing bonus to smoke a L. You know what I'm saying, like, bro, like some people. I feel you, but that's a little different because that's a team sport. For instance, for instance, if Nike signs, I'll put it this way. If we would not, if the if the world would not have made a big thing about that Molly and her champagne, Mountain Dew would have covered that. Mountain Dew would have would have literally if if, if they had the, the opportunity to cu- because cutting a deal with somebody they lose money. So it's different when it's one person. They would have done everything in their power to cover that up. Yeah, but but mm, I mean. And that's more how record, <coughs> uh, record contracts work. More like Mountain Dew uh, or or Nike signing a player than than like a team. Because still, because if you sign a team, your capital comes from the team. 
So if you think this person is bad for the team, that is a business move. It's different when there's only one person. You gotta make it work. Yeah, but being signed though is like you. It's it's kind of similar to the league. They give you a bunch of money up front, and then whatever you do to work that money off, essentially to either, you know, leave at the end with money left in your pocket or leave at the end broke. Maybe he got the deal. He was trying to do, but then he wasn't, you know, executing or he wasn't getting. The, you, the, my point is you have to, it's your job. Like, I'm sorry, but as soon as you sign somebody, that's why you got to know who they are before you sign them. Maybe people make mistakes. So you kind of more blame it him about it then. Like, yeah. the la- not not yeah, him yeah. personally, but, but the, the label. The whole shady record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like. I mean, I agree. Like, here's the thing. I agree with that because I feel like Designer is a person who fell a victim to his label. Like, he got signed to Good Records and, I mean, uh, Good Music, and they never tried to, like, help this dude get on. Now, granted, he has gotten a lot of deals, you know. Designer's a little different. Designer's different. What? Because cause Kanye, like, you can tell in the beginning they were trying to make designer a thing. And I think what it was, they just did not, they did not have the ability or resources that he needed to go to the next level. He had a Kanye feature out the gate. He got signed from a Kanye feature. To this day, a Boogie Eminem feature is only hypothetical. That freak song is hypothetically out there. <laughs> you, know, you know how long he's been signed to Shady and not have it? Bro, this is what I said on my video I did about it today. Make sure you go check that out. I said, what M needs to do is give him three, three, three verses, because he he has a lot of catching up to do. Because now it looks weird. <coughs> the pointer is that I was literally watching. I was it. I think it was a Joe Budden podcast, and Maul thought he was signed to Joyner was signed to Shady. That's not good. From the outside look, it is. That's how it looks. So I'm saying you gotta at least do the same. I mean, three times as much as you did for a random person. I mean when it comes to business as you did for your own artist maybe he just likes joiners song you need to give him two freestyles y'all get two beats if eminem because that's what i'm saying eminem prints money eminem is the green light he has a base of people that if nobody else but his base of people listen to you you could be a billionaire so it's like he can literally go all right the next thing is boogie here we go boom and it's he's the next thing he did it to joiner since Lucky You, since the audio of Lucky You dropped, Joyner Lucas in some way has maintained being in the zeitgeist at least once a week since that has dropped. I mean, I agree, but maybe Joyner's work ethic is better, is what I'm saying. Which is true, but I'm saying, bro, you got more to lose with Boogie, so you gotta make your work ethic be better. Yeah, I think Boogie definitely needs a look. I mean, he needs a Breakfast Club interview. He needs something, bro. Like, people just don't know who he is like that. And that's not, I feel like that's not fair. My bad, yes, you're good. Nah, I just feel like, I'm just saying, I just feel like that's just not fair. But And and also, it's like, the thing that got me mad, I'm excited for this album, but it's coming in January. That's oh, y'all gotta hurry up, bro. Yeah, y'all gotta kick this into gear right now. Yeah. Like, so you're telling me there's that Eminem and Joiner feature is still to come, and you guys like it's you're, you've almost set it up where Joiner is going to eclipse them no matter what. The second that song, well, drops, I mean, shit, Joiner's no. dropping the same month. Appar- I mean, allegedly, nobody thought of that. I don't know. I feel like maybe he just liked Joyner's work ethic more or something, maybe. I don't know. But who, who do you think? <coughs> y'all put in the comment section if y'all are rocking with the way, uh, if you think it, the way that Shady Records is handling Boogie. And the reason why I put a lot of credence on Eminem is because it, even though it is Shady Records' fault. Yeah. But Eminem is the life jacket for anybody. Right. It don't right. matter. You could be... You could be three contracts in the hole with the worst bird man contract you've ever had in your life. If if you if it comes out and you have an Eminem feature, you at least have the clout. The nigga who produced Lucky You has is clouded up. No doubt. 
no doubt. Like, I see him in all kind of interviews now. Mm. Hot new hip hop, uh, genius. This, he's everywhere now. Yeah, that's a fact. <clears throat> I I don't know, man. I I think it's like. <sighs> and what makes me the mad about Boogie is Boogie has that sound. He is the crossover that Shady Records need. And it's weird Boogie because the- West Coast music is so. Hopping right now, I'm telling bro. you, black people gonna rock with Boogie s- super, super tough. Uh, yeah, he's super like tough. very. Good people are gonna rock with Boogie super tough. White people, obviously, because of Eminem, like he has that man. That's that's making me. He could live. They could, literally Kendrick was a product of Dr. Dre, and you can kind of say like Eminem, like that camp. They make they click the button. If you think about like take away Dr. Dre. There's no reason Kendrick should be as big as the Like, now he should because the landscape of hip-hop has changed, but at the time he blew up, there's no reason a rapper like Kendrick should have been the biggest rapper in the world. I mean, just in general, like, if you did trace back to, like, when Kendrick, like, started getting popping and look at how many big-ass West Coast artists there was from that time to now, bro, like, the West Coast is popping. Like, they've been popping now. Since like 2011, word up. Because even before then, there was niggas like Lil B. Like I'm not even like trying to be funny, but like <laughs> Lil B was popping, my nigga. Like we not gonna do that. So like, yeah, the new boys. Yeah, like um, bro, the, all of that shit. Like bro, that 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 has been Dom Kennedy. Like bro, like the West Coast is 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 popping, my nigga. Like that's like it's been popping since like literally. The end of 2010, early 2011, because, yo, like... That's what... Go ahead. My bad. The thing that makes me mad is I always be like, man, maybe Boogie should have signed the TDE and just got, like, an M feature. Because, like, Boogie... I don't know. I think Boogie is, like, strangely dope. Like, that's one of my he favorite is. rappers coming up. Like, he's one of them niggas that's just, like... I really mess with Boogie super tough. Like, like damn, he didn't even get a look on the BET ciphers or nothing. He got a Snickers like, commercial. To me, that's that's where rap is going is the JIDs and the Boogies. <coughs> if you look at them, they're aesthetic. JID from a distance might look like from some of the things a mumble rapper minus the, the, the he tatted up the dress. Well, look at Juice World too. Same thing. Like everybody exactly. thought Juice World was like that, but then Juice World came and shocked the world with that freestyle, and now everybody like, oh, that nigga's a spitter. You know what I'm saying? Like he definitely like Bo- uh, Boogie is in the right position to blow. Like Sun God, he's from the West Coast. He can rap. He's co-signed by Eminem. He's fire. Like he's really he makes good music. Well, you know what I mean? Well, what I was saying is I feel like the next wave is going to be fashionable people who can spit. People who are aesthetically pleasing to women, like dress yeah. well and, jump and and can spit. I feel like that's the next wave because it's looking like Joyner is going to have a big year next year. It's looking like Jid is 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 having a... It's kind of quietly, but he's having a hell of a year. Yeah. A hell of a year. Oh, and yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. It's only going to get crazier. And I think, like, even, like, if you think of people, like, the I, aste- I like, even, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but even just the, we talked about this a lot about, Juice like, World, yeah. yeah, like, the way that rappers are now appeared, uh, compared to last year, they're, like, it's kind of changing because before it was, like, a lot of that viral shit. You know what I mean? Like, people were doing, like, that vi- Now the people that are coming out are more of, like, the realistic, down-to-earth, regular you-and-me type niggas. You know what I mean? So, like, they're not doing all that goofy shit. And then now, you know, they're, they're coming out. So, it's, like, really, this is the perfect time. I bet you Kendrick is going to drop next year. Finish your thought, but keep going. Yeah, I mean, but just a, oh, yeah, Kendrick got to drop this year. And I'm telling you, it's that's the Kendrick is the is the head of that. That is, I'm telling you. And if if they squander Boogie, I'm gonna be upset because Boogie's supposed to be like the double XL freshman of next year. Is supposed to Boogie's supposed to be on that shit. And oh my goodness, is such an old song, bro. That's crazy. That song's literally like seven years old or something. That's that crank though. Oh yeah, facts. I don't know, man. It's crazy. It's definitely wild. I just been, who is the, dang, we've been, uh, yeah, talk about this, yeah, 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 word, 
What? Who, oh, quick, let's just do it quickly then, I guess. Who do you think is best co sign for him? And why? You know Did they why? have to have mattered? Did they have to have, like... I think his best co-sign will obviously 50 Cent. But outside of 50 Cent, I would have to say Slaughterhouse. But I just don't think them niggas delivered. Nope. Who? Obi Trice. Yeah. Obi Trice did more numbers than the nigga. Obi Trice is dope to me. I love Obi Trice. As weird as that sounds, if you think about it, it's Obi Trice. So, like, Obi had two successful albums. Yeah, that's facts. He did two mil on his first joint. You know what I'm saying? It's dirty. You know one nigga that I wish would pop off, bro? That um, is signed, matter of fact, to Shady? Who? Is Conway, bro. I hear a lot of people saying that. Son. I hear a lot of people saying that. Conway is... Crazy, bro. Maybe Shady will have like a crazy year next year or something, and they're just gonna like flood the market with like their artists. Cause I'm just so confused. That's the best case scenario. M could be like the Dre, where he's no like clicking the button, just all right, boom, you're 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 on, you're on, you're on. You're on. Like M knows what Dre did for him to get him on. Yeah. M knows what uh, he did for Fifty to get on. Come on. What are you waiting for? Right. This yeah. nigga need to get shot? Basically. Really? Yeah, it were. <laughs> yeah, basically. Shit. That's crazy. I don't know, man. It's wild. I, I'm I'm excited to hear his album, though. I'm excited to know how well it does as well, because... Yeah, that's... They definitely should put uh, some... Uh, I hope... I think it's too soon. Like, we, we could be, uh, like, at the end of the uh, uh, next month being like, oh, yeah, no, nah, it's boogie season. But oh, yeah, right yeah, now, for sure. As of right now, it just seems not enough. Like, yeah. especially when you got Joyner. He's not, you got to look at him as, like, your artist, not competition, but, like, kind of. Yeah. Bro, shit, They're it is. It is competition. People. Facts. I mean, what you mean? Yeah, absolutely. I don't even think kind of. I think. Seriously, you know what I mean? It's wild, man. You guys put in the comment section, who do you think was um, Adam's best cover song? 50 to God. Grr. It was definitely hands down his best cover song. Five. Yo, listen. Get your money up, not your funny up. Whole lot of yeah. gang ish. Yeah. Yo. This nigga.